Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. My name is Becky and today we are gonna be harvesting some raspberry leaves to make some raspberry leaf tea. I currently can't have any caffeine and so I've been on this huge herbal tea kick. And so one of my goals I've decided this year on the homestead is I wanna to try to harvest things that I can make tea out of. When I've been reading the ingredients on a bunch of herbal teas that I've been finding at the grocery store, a really common ingredient is raspberry leaves. And these raspberry leaves are perfect for harvesting. You wanna harvest the nice young ones. And another goal that I have on the homestead this year is to try to maximize my overall harvest. By harvesting the leaves from this plant, I'm not only gonna get the raspberries from these raspberry canes, but I'm gonna get tea as well. So I'm getting two things from one plant. I have a couple other ideas on the homestead of things that I'm gonna be harvesting, where I'm gonna be getting two harvests out of one plant, things that people don't typically harvest. So go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see those videos that are gonna be coming out in the future. But for now, let's go ahead and get some of these leaves harvested. So here's our raspberry cane. You can see that these raspberries are actually about to flower, which is pretty awesome. So what we wanna do is harvest these leaves when they're young and tender like this. That way they're not as bitter. So about that size. I've never had just plain raspberry leaf tea before. So at the end of this video, after I show you how to dehydrate it, we will brew up a pot of tea and we'll try it together. So we have this beautiful basket of raspberry leaves. So let's go ahead and get inside and get them dehydrated up. It's really hot out there right now, so they're already starting to wilt a little bit. So I wanna get them on the dehydrator as soon as possible. I probably could have harvested a lot more, but I kinda of wanna start with this because I think this is a good amount to fit in my dehydrator. And I wanna make sure I taste it before I put in the effort of harvesting and dehydrating a lot more. So this is an Excalibur dehydrator. This is the best dehydrator. I've had one of the circle ones and I really don't like those as much because this Excalibur dehydrator has the heating element on the back side. It dries things evenly. Those round dehydrators, the heating element is either on the bottom or on the top. The food that's closest to the heating element is gonna dry first. So you have to constantly rotate to make sure things dry evenly. With this one, you don't have to do any rotating. So all I'm gonna do is lay them out. Well, I was gonna start by laying them one at a time, but that's gonna take too long. I'm not gonna take the time to make sure it's exactly one layer, but pretty close. That's perfect. So there might be like one on top of another, but it'll be okay. So a couple of the other teas that I want to harvest this year is I am growing some chamomile. So I really wanna get some chamomile tea harvested if I can. I planted an orange mint, a Thai mint, and a peppermint. And then a couple weeks ago, I planted out some strawberry mint. So hopefully I get some of that that I can also harvest this year and make some tea out of. This is perfect time to be doing this and trying it to see if I like it because the leaves are just starting. There's a ton of little buds where the leaves are gonna be growing out pretty soon and the weather's been beautiful. And so if I like this, then I will have a chance to get a bunch more of it. The reason I really love this dehydrator is it has the temperatures that you need to dehydrate your different foods at right on the top of it. I don't need to Google the temperature or pull out a booklet. I can just look right here. It says herbs between 95 and 125. Because these are really tender leaves, I'm going to dehydrate them closer to 95. I think probably the ones at 125 might be your more sturdy herbs like rosemary or, and things like that. So let's put it right at 95. I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on for 22 hours. I don't honestly think this is gonna take any more than like eight or nine hours because the leaves are pretty tender. So we'll see you back when they are done and we will make a cup of tea together. Hey friends, it's been seconds for you, but it's been six days actually since I've worked on this raspberry tea. I did time it and it took six hours for the leaves to dry. They're perfectly dry and I just didn't have time to deal with them during the week. So I figured I'd wait until I could do a taste test and put it in a jar with you before I touch them. So they've just been sitting on my counter for the last six days and they're perfectly dry and they kept their color really well. I've been super excited to try this tea. I talked my husband into it and he's gonna do a taste test with me once we get some made up. 
So let me go ahead and get some in this tea holder. I don't know, even know what this is called. So it can be steeping while we put the rest of the leaves away. So that seems like a good amount. I just kind of stuffed the bottom half pretty tightly full. I've been researching different teas that you can make off different plants. And I found out that you can actually make fig leaf tea. And I have a pretty big fig tree out there and the leaves are just starting to bud out. And I actually see teeny tiny little figs on my tree. So I am gonna try to make fig leaf tea next. I always like to put a piece of parchment paper under my jar when I'm filling something I dehydrated, but these leaves kept their shape really well and they didn't make a big mess. I was reading the back of this Sleepy Time tea that I drink almost every night, and the ingredients are chamomile, peppermint, lemongrass, tilia, flower, blackberry leaves, orange blossoms, hawthorn, and rosebud. Hawthorn and rosebuds I don't have. But a couple of these things on here, I certainly could try to grow. So this is super exciting to me, the idea of growing some of my own tea, because I can't drink coffee right now, and I couldn't grow coffee even if I wanted to grow my own coffee, but I certainly can grow a bunch of ingredients for tea, and since tea is my go-to at the moment, I love the idea of being able to grow my own. So this is starting to smell really good. It actually smells a little bit like raspberries. It's kind of weird. At first, when I first smelled it, it smelled like green tea, but then since it's been steeping in here for a while, you can see it's starting to turn a little bit green. It actually has a little bit of a raspberry smell, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it just really smells like raspberries. I wanna taste it, but it's still too hot, I think. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh, that's good. It's really light. There's not like a heavy, um, it's, there's not like a black tea where you've got this like kind of bitterness. There's no bitterness to it at all. It's almost a little bit sweet. It doesn't taste as much like raspberry as it smells. Oh, that's really good. That is really good. It, it's starting to taste more like raspberry. It probably cause I'm, I don't know if it's cause I'm associating the smell with it. Oh, wow. To be honest with you, I didn't think I was gonna like this at all. I don't know why, I just didn't think it was gonna be good, but this is really, really good. I'm gonna get my husband to try it. All right, so he's down here. He doesn't know what my review on this is, so I'm gonna give it to him. It's a little bit hot, and I'm gonna let him taste it. Should Smell it first. Steeping? What was that? Should do more steeping. I think it's steeped long enough. What does it smell like? My husband's a super taster and a super smeller. According to our realtor. <laughs> Anytime we would go into a house, Josh could always pick up on these smells, so our realtor always calls him a super smeller. It's good. It almost has kind of like some oolong type whip to it a little bit. So it's raspberry leaf tea. Yeah, it almost has some oolong. Yeah, it tastes good. Does it taste like raspberry to you or smell like raspberry? Because I think it does. Let me, let me, oh, that's that's what I was supposed to pick up on? Yeah. He won't let you. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't know if I... If you don't I'm, get raspberry? I'm not getting a ton of raspberry. Oh, I do. I like it. Do you like it? Oh, I'm getting a lot of raspberry notes. <laughs> is, that, is that what you're looking for? You didn't have to say, it's whatever you like, if you like it or not. It kind of has a little bit of an oolong taste to it, honestly. Oh, okay. So I guess that's... I think oolong has a little bit more of a tanniny, like bitterness taste to it, but... Well, what I taste, uh, there was an oolong ginseng tea that I had in China. Oh, it tastes like that? And it has kind of the undertones of that, but that is kind of like a, the, the uh, the back of the mouth, throat had kind of like a sweetness. Yeah, because it is kind of sweet. It was from the ginseng, but I guess in this case it would be from like the raspberry or something. It's yeah. not as far back. I'm definitely gonna go harvest a bunch more because this is all I have and I really like it. So if I can grow my own tea, that's kind of cool. You don't have to put the super smaller in there. Oh, I'm going to. But then if, all right, I so it is a if I didn't identify the raspberry, then that might be not great. That's okay. Well, I, I've identified the raspberry, so. All right. Love you. Love you too. You good? Yep. 
So I think this is a win, you guys. This is so good. And I only have this much, so I am going to be, it's rainy, that's why I, I've been working in the kitchen all day today. So I am gonna make sure that I get out there and get a bunch more. And we have a bunch of blackberries, not on our property, but around us there's a bunch of wild blackberries. So the next time it is sunny outside, I'm gonna get out there and harvest a bunch more leaves, because this is really good. Let me know if you guys try this. I am shocked at how good it is. I love it. This is gonna be my go-to tea if I can harvest enough of it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me and helps YouTube know that people are liking the content I'm creating. If you wanna see what else is gonna be going on around the homestead this year, there's a lot of exciting stuff in the works. Go ahead and subscribe. If you guys have any questions for me or if you guys have ever made any of your own homemade tea, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to start a conversation about tea making. This is the first time I've ever made my own tea and I'm like super excited about it. So I hope you guys have a great day and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye guys.